Jim Molly, Supercross Live on SupercrossOnline.com. Well, a couple weeks ago, you saw Justin Brayton get his first podium in 2012, a third. Here tonight in Indianapolis, the second. You're leading this thing for well over uh, 10 laps at that yeah. point. Uh, you didn't get that whole shot unless he got that and collected uh, $1,500 from Nuclear Cowboys. Kind of took you a while to get around Alessi, though. Were you patient, just pacing yourself? Yeah, I was a little bit patient. Um, I, I think a little too patient. I, I should have went around him a little bit quicker, but he was actually riding really good, and and uh, I didn't, I, I couldn't find anywhere to get him, and finally made a mistake and got around him, and felt like I was putting in some good laps, and just needed to change up my line in the whoops. That's uh, pretty much what cost me the race. I was still skimming, and it seemed like they started jumping, and uh, I'm happy with second. I feel like I might have let one get away, but. Um, and Villapoto's obviously a great champion and riding really well tonight. So I'm excited for the week and uh, hopefully be able to ride a couple times and, and uh, come into Toronto ready to go. I was going to ask you, you know, you, you fought back at one point. Once he got by, you said, man, I'm not letting this thing get away. I mean, you went back after him, but pretty hard tonight. I mean, the track was slick out there and hard to make passes and get underneath guys without losing the front end. Yeah, what's crazy is usually here at Indy, it's uh, like awesome dirt. And it was great tonight, but it seemed like some shiny spots were coming up. So you're right, it was... Uh, readying the turns and then exiting and entering the turns it was really slick so definitely had to be careful but Dunlop tires were awesome and uh, like I said I'm going to build on this second place and uh, first time I've ever led laps in a main event so I think that's a huge uh, stepping stone in the right direction and, um, and I'm excited for the rest of the year. Talk about a roller coaster ride. What I mean is, you know, Dodger Stadium uh, not making the main event. Then you get the third uh, a couple weeks ago. Then you go down to Daytona, you have your problems there, and now you find yourself back on that podium. I mean, it's up and down. It's definitely been a uh, a real learning year. Um, you know, I've had to stay positive through, through some really low points, and um, you know, sitting on the berm at San Diego, not knowing I was going to race, really put it into perspective of, you know. We're blessed to be out here even racing motorcycles. And then the L.A. thing was uh, just a freak deal. I, I just didn't make the main event. And then uh, my teammate Trey Kennard got hurt that night. And it was just a, a rough night. But it put a, a lot of things into perspective. And just got to keep fighting. And, uh, you know, whether I go down again or not make another man, I'm just going to keep fighting. And uh, this all, you know, this means a lot to stand up on the podium. That, those are hard to come by. You talk to yourself out there. I mean, when I was riding, sometimes you're leading the thing. You get excited. Man, I'm, I'm leading this thing here in Indy, and your mechanic's out there letting you know where uh, Villapoto's at, and you see him inching and inching uh, ever so slightly a, a little bit. You're going, man, I don't know where he's making my time up on me. Yeah, for sure. You know, he, he was definitely coming, and uh, I just needed to change my lines up. I needed to uh, – I stuck to the same line pretty much the whole time and, and, uh, and a little more aggression, but, man, I'm, I'm happy with second, and, and to get beat by Villapoto – Definitely can't hang your head at that. You know, he's, a, like I said, a great champion, and um, I'm excited for Toronto and, and uh, just build on this finish.